That's insane. Are you trying to scare me? You're like, let me see if I can stick to care, Kevin. Ladies and gentlemen, my epic spot. <laughs> oh my god. All right, I'm gonna try not to scare myself to death. Okay. We're ready to roll. So my background, I work as an airline pilot, and uh, I've been interested in everything that flies ever since I was very young. My dad took me and got me flying lessons when I was eight years old, and I uh, saw some videos of Carlos Charpoo's freestyle videos, and I was hooked, and I had to get a multi-rotor, and just started buying stuff and flying, and met some friends that flew, and that's basically all I do now. Okay, ready? I'm ready. When I put my goggles on, it's like a uh, real world I'm gonna switch it off and be in my world and just focus on flying. Oh my God, what happened? I almost hit Kevin, like head on. I think I'm known for my smooth and relaxed style. I put a lot of effort in creating my YouTube videos, so every video has a different story what I wanna tell. Oh my God, Tommy, that spot is so good, but what? it's terrifying. That's okay. I mean, you fly all the time like, oh my god, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. Oh god. Right? Because you really can't get it back. <laughs> but, but if you pull it off, is this not the most epic thing in the world? Oh yeah. It's awesome, man. Let's do it. When you put on the goggles, like, I, I like to think I've just become one with, with my drone and my mini fun. Nice! <laughs> if you've ever had any childhood dreams where you're just all of a sudden floating in the middle of the air, and you're looking down and you're just like, wow. Your mind goes like, I want to go there and you just start soaring that way. And you're like, well, I want to just soar that way and kind of bank to the left, bank to the right, maybe do a couple of flips. That's what it feels like. Oh, yeah. I can't see. Video. No. Oh, no. I don't know, my video just blacked out. Where is it, Tommy? I'm not sure, because it, it blacked out for like, for, it just never came back. Have you tried arming it to see if we can hear it? I hear it. You hear it again? Woo! Now can we get to it is the question. Oh no. Did I? Just the lens though? No, it's just, off. Oh no. Yeah, just move over a little bit. Let's see what happens. Yeah, that GoPro is done. Good thing it has warranty. Yeah, it's the professional way to clean your lens. My favorite thing about drone racing is getting together with my friends and going out and flying and pushing each other on a competitive scale and also just kind of like, I bet you can't do this. Would it? I was power looping the little bridge here. Did you do it? Over the... Oh, I did that many times. <laughs> I am known for power loops. But I got high and you see the first pillar there? Yeah. I came up and I saw it and I was about to hit it head on and I just like turned down and so like- belly tap I it? I belly tapped it and then like <laughs> dove back down. Nice. <laughs> So yeah, I'm kind of known for power loops. Oh my God. Did what you happened? flip it? Yeah. Good? I heard that. That sounded scary. My favorite thing about drone racing, I think, is to get together with my friends all over the world. We're gonna meet in Dubai, we meet in Europe, we meet in the US, so that's the best part of it. Skills and attributes to be a drone racer, I would say good hand-eye coordination. If you're really good at playing computer games or anything like that, I'd say you probably have to step up into this. The only difference now is instead of a computer animated like environment, you're in the actual real world. So as long as you've got some pretty decent eyesight and uh, some pretty agile fingers, you should be good. This is basically like a good day flying at TV. You find your lines, you execute, you go, oh my God, that was crazy with my friends, do it again. You break a GoPro, you have video issues, you gotta go fetch your quads, and then you gotta scurry on out of here. That's a pretty good example of a typical FTV day, I'd say. We go to a spot and like hit it, yep. do epic stuff, and then we just leave, like the skateboarders used yep. to do. All it cost today was a few props, uh, one GoPro, but that'll be a quick swap. Uh, all in all, we got some epic footage and didn't get anything stuck, so I'm saying it's a good thing.